The full moon shows up to Earthly viewers when the moon's orbit takes it around to the point where Sun, Earth, and Moon line up. And the onrushing sunlight fully splashes the Earth-facing face of the moon. But does that cause any special weirdness here on Earth? The full moon is more than just a passing phase. During the full moon, and also at the completely dark new moon phase, gravity of the nearby moon lines up in phase with gravity of the far away but hugely massive sun to cause higher tides in Earth's oceans. Now, could all that crazy gravity slosh around the liquids inside our living bodies? And what could happen if they did? Well, people have long speculated, but turns out the idea that exposure to the full moon causes insanity is, well, just sheer lunacy. Study after study has found no statistical correlation between observed psychotic episodes, or crime statistics, or animal bites. Really, you're not any more likely to hideously mutate into your werewolf form on the night of the full moon than you are on any other night. Some species of real wolves do seem to like to howl at the full moon, but researchers are not quite sure yet just why. Buddhism teaches that all full moon days are holy. Judaism marks at least three significant yearly holidays by the full moon. And many cultures around the earth give a pet name to each passing full moon. Buck moon, oak moon, milk moon, pink moon, hay moon, grain moon, old moon, cold moon, egg moon. And once in a blue moon, we get two full moons in a month, which is really just a trick of the calendar we picked. With the moon, the earth, and even the sun constantly in motion, there's actually only one infinitely short instant when the moon is truly full. At that one moment, the far side of the moon actually is the dark side of the moon. And finally, here's a tip. The full moon is the very worst time to observe the moon. The harsh lighting is too bright and too flat to show you the true beauty of Earth's magnificent natural satellite. So that's the full moon. This is your Two Minute Universe, and I'm Dave Brody.